We're American, American teens. We're, We're going to watch British YouTubers, YouTubers for the first time. So we're not talking Logan Paul or Mr. Beast, because that's American. We're talking Chicken Shop Date and Side Men. More thickets, British... Oh, shit, down, <laughs> no! Ah! It's either Markiplier, Jerma, or uh, I forgot the other one. Jay Schlatt! Jay Schlatt! <laughs> I know! He's I so, know! He's so funny! I broke into the International Security Convention and even got a I, I saw this exact <laughs> video, actually. I feel like I recognize the richest man in the world for seven minutes. Yeah. Getting into places. And he after initial scouts out of the venue, like I invented Tom a new Holland. character for myself. I'm being Rob, Rob Banks. Banks. I don't remember Rob his Banks, name. International I went on Instagram. Rob and Banks. People had taken pictures of their past on the first day of the convention. And so I designed a new one for myself on this Photoshop. This stuff is so interesting to me. To look the part, like, it's hard to talk when you're so locked in to what you're watching. Yeah. To be this, like, Intellectually funny is such a goal in my life. Luckily, the this is like actually nice really interesting. Box. Like I would love to watch this. After waving the pass to security, mm. I was in. I was nice. wandering around the convention and I nearly got caught when someone recognized me. Max oh, Max. That was that's his name. <laughs> that is insane. My last goal was to get a security guard. <laughs> no, I'm Fax Marsh. And that is how. But that is wow. That's so cool. And that is how I broke into the International Security Convention. The whole yeah. idea is that a security convention should be secure. Like, how's yeah. any random person breaking into it? It's really entertaining and it keeps your attention. And I like how fast he talks. He had the security guard take a picture of him. Like, yeah. What? Yeah. I want to meet this guy. I don't feel like it's as easy to do this stuff here, though. This actually feels authentic and real, like, because he shows you the whole part. It's really good. He's, it's kind of like um, Impractical Joker. Yeah, a yeah. little bit like, like that, that vibe. I will scroll through YouTube shorts, and I will see this, and I'll be like, that was no amazing. Familiar. Now I gotta go check out the full video. Yeah. Um, how many subscribers do you think this guy has? Three mil. Two mil. Three point four. Million. Five, I was gonna say 5.4. Mm. 4.08. Good for him. Next, people, is Next. a group. Oh. Hello, and welcome to Sidemen $20,000 oh Hotel. Oh my god. Okay. Versus $200 <laughs> they hotel are so good. Europe edition. As always, the rules are simple. The boys are split into two teams of three at random. One team will go to a $20,000 luxurious hotel, and the other team will be out there in a $200 hotel, not in the greatest of times. And for this video, the boys are meeting at different airports so they already know their teams so let's go find out the teams and meet the boys that hotel that's a jumbo yet that's quite cool look at that I hope oh no oh hell no oh, hell no. oh, no. oh, no. oh my god big case oh, no. oh, no. same place oh, no. oh, no. Wait, what? i feel like they're already gonna oh, get the 200 oh my god no. they're funny too this is funny no I would bite your hand off. What is this? <laughs> They've got it already. Like, is, are those milk cartons or water cartons? I can't tell. Oh, that'll be so interesting. Mm -hmm. But I'd like want to watch they, the luxury one the whole time. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, I love that. I, yeah, I, I, I don't. Stay. Yeah, I think the plane looks. It's pretty cool. This is a good shot. Wow, that's really pretty. It's like a home. Dude! Oh my god! Hello, my friends! Hello, my friends! Hello! Oh my word! This is amazing! Yes! Sped up the clip right there, damn it, had a lot of cuts. Yes! I want this house. This actual video is like two hours long on YouTube. The Sidemen, have you ever heard of them? Yeah, of course. I love their stuff. I've seen some of their Yeah, I've never seen one of their videos, but they're always all my recommended. It's made up of seven people. Simon Minter, otherwise known as Mini Minter. Joshua Bradley, known as Zerka, Toby Brown, Ethan Payne, known as Bazinga, Harry Lewis, Vixter, and finally JJ, very popularly known as KSI. Yep, KSI. I'm probably gonna go home and watch this. Yeah, they should include me in their group so that I can stay at the $20,000 hotel. You should tell them, you should tell them. Yeah. yeah. I don't want the $20,000 hotel, I want that. So do I. That's so cool. So much cooler. Videos like this would totally keep my attention because I would want to see yeah. the differences between that $20,000 and two hundred. Mm -hmm. They also do like a charity football mm -hmm. slash soccer match. It's so cool. Which is one of the highest viewed things in the UK on mm. YouTube. It's like really? a live thing. Mr. Beast went over, a bunch of YouTubers go over. Yep. And they just play soccer in I a huge it. stadium of like 100,000 people. That's and they raise crazy. thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars as well for charity. KSI and Logan Paul also launched a huge drink called Prime. How much Prime do you drink? Uh, I think I've had half a bottle in my lifetime. Is that it? I had nothing. Yeah, I didn't it. like it. I tried it like a year and a half ago. I gave Prime a shot and it wasn't bad, so 
How many subscribers do you think these guys have? 8.3. 20 million. 21 million, that's a lot. I know, it's a ton. It's 21.5. What? I got you vegan chicken <gasps> I know her! Chips for your she was a central C. Because yeah. I'm not available on the menu yet. Oh, that's Billy Eilish. Yeah, that that one's Amelia. Good, I figured that much out. This is, this like British Hot Wings? <laughs> yeah. She's great. Aww. Great YouTuber. I like the intro and how it's all kind of like... My favorite feeling in the world like is adrenaline. stitched together. I find that um, going on dates... Let's see, she got Billie Eilish, so she's she's definitely popular. Billie is so pretty. Billie is gorgeous. Up a bit. So she she's really pretty. Mm -hmm. So much more silence in these videos that I like. It's nice. It doesn't, doesn't have to be in your face. Just oh. I had Billie Eilish right next to me, I'd be like... Now. I need to smell good. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite it's backwards. Oh, sorry. <laughs> is this you? She has a very no. pretty voice. I see what you meant there. And she is funny. No, mm -hmm. my boobs aren't that big. They're pretty small. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're nice. Well, they're, sorry. well I actually quite like them. She can't even take herself seriously. That's I awesome. I like them, too. I love Billy. It's like dry humor trying to disarm the other person, and she does like this disarming style of interviews. Mm -hmm. Her name's Amelia Dolderberg. She's like a British journalist, comedian, YouTuber, and Chicken yeah. Shop Date is a series. Every week they go to a different chicken shop in London, an actual functioning chicken shop, and they mm -hmm. film an episode of like, like an interview with like a celebrity. Uh, Cute. And she interviews some of the biggest celebrities of all time. Billie Eilish. She's wow. had SZA, Eric Andre, Central C. She's had Jack Harlow, Jennifer Lawrence, the Jonas Brothers. Oh, wow. How many subscribers do you think she has? How many subs? Three and a half million. 10 mil. 1.8 million. Mm. I'm gonna go 3.7. Ooh. 2.4 million. <gasps> I was gonna the say The UK market is smaller, but she's very popular. Wow. Would you watch this person? Would you subscribe? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. This is this is very similar to stuff I watch. Can you guys read that? Yep. What really what happens, happens when, when we, we cover, cover our webcam? Oh my god. He looks like Jordan Fisher. Oh, this guy makes sick edits, I think. I want his setup. That's such a cool setup that he has, though. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy. So it's literally just like 20 second videos like that. And he just like- oh, That's it? Oh, yeah, that's wow. It. But he actually became popular because of his football, soccer content. Yeah, which, yeah, I've seen all these. He, he, there's like- The uh, best way to control the football. So good. Yeah. How do you figure out you can do that? <laughs> it's good enough. When, when I went in Europe, I was playing basketball with people, but they were Look using the this. basketball as a football. Okay, that's good. That's pretty fun. I love trick shot videos. He's got good balance, too. Oh. This is the best. Under the head? Oh! That was great. Oh! Yep, that was pretty amazing. Oh, what's the ball? Over the head? I literally am saying over the head. Hey! Oh my goodness. He's insane. And but which one was the best? Because that's the video. I, I, the one, on two, it. three, or four, or Number five. four. Number four? Number four? Yeah. Number four. yeah. Four. yeah. Four. Cause you not only have to jump, you have to jump and land. Yep. Like in oh. He was a finalist, and Britain's Got Talent, which is their talent show. Like America's Got Talent. In 2008, mm -hmm. he was doing football tricks, and he makes a lot of football trick videos, but also like the one we saw before, mm -hmm. like just funny yeah. sketch type yeah, videos yeah. as well. How many followers do you think he has? Ten million. I'll say eight. He has 12.3 million subscribers. Wow. That's, a lot. that's Yeah, it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Let's wow. take a moment to see if your accents have gotten any better. Now, please say, Abby, uh, you are so Abby. handsome, smart, and funny in your best British accent. Three, oh. two, one, go. Abby, you're so funny and handsome and smart, and I just love you. I love you today. Yeah. I'm chuffed to be with you. <laughs> chuffed to bits, mate. You're so funny and handsome and smart, mate. Next person we're moving on to is someone called the underrated hijabi. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we will be taking She's on so a cute. challenge. We will be visiting the worst rated restaurants this in is... London. I have decided okay, to visit yeah, the restaurants. I'm in. And I'm gonna visit See, all I like three of those today. Of anything I hope with food. my stomach can handle it. I really hope Literally. that the reviews are not as I'd be many. terrified filming in public. I'd be Imagine absolutely terrified. She's so brave. I feel closer with her. Yeah. It's so much less produced. Two main meals. They wouldn't let us share a pizza. Um, they said they need the table. They need the table. I like this. I've seen I like this a lot. But this is like the nicest food review. Mm -hmm. It's already a bad sign. They, they did that to us while we were there too. Look at all of those marks. Oh yeah, that's not ideal. But like, it doesn't look that bad. 
it, it doesn't look too unbelievably terrible, but uh, I mean, like I just eatable. have pizza in Naples, so. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't trust eating it because it looks like dirty. Oh, it has no taste. <laughs> Her name's underrated hijabi, her real name is Yasmin. She is known for her lifestyle content, or like food tasting, or like comedic sketches. And she's also a huge uh, Muslim advocate as well. That's why hijab is what uh, the Muslim women wear. That's why she's called the underrated hijabi. And she just does like very natural content. What do you think of this style of video compared to like other things that you've seen so far? I'm a fan. It's very like personal. Yeah. I love her. Oh she's my just, gosh. Yeah. People say things like I could just listen to her talk for hours. Yeah. Like exactly. Yep. I don't care what she's doing. I like her accent more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's different or not, but like the way she talks, like her mannerism, and I'm just like, whoa. How many subscribers do you think she has? 7.3. It's 1.78. 1.78. 1.78. That wow. The next person we're moving on to is someone called Matt Armstrong. He's a bit of a car lover. I've just bought the cheapest non- This is sick! I don't know you though. I don't, oh, yeah. Today we're oh, gonna gosh. try and rebuild it. That doesn't look good. Hours. Still nice. The GT3 is a car that I've already bought, rebuilt, that's a nice car. but sold. Rebuilding it, it in 24 hours, I think that's back to the UK, catching attention. But, oh, did I so love cool. that car? Yeah. That's a cool car. I, I'm not a car guy, but I can respect so cool cars. I'm a broken car guy. You have to have, one, like, but this time, even cheaper, education. I was all over yeah. <laughs> In 24 I've hours? seen this. It was on TikTok. So, it was on TikTok. So close, brother. That's not finished. That's not the same car. It's the same car. Just no, it isn't. Car. You're lying to me right now. He's like, he's like, we're so crushed. We didn't finish it. It, it that, that's finished. But if you have that's a distance to ship and you take every plank out and this music. Why is it bringing tears to my eyes? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's amazing. He's a British YouTuber that's known for his like aut automotive enthusiasm and cars and restoration projects and modifications. He gives like tips, techniques, just shares his passion about cars basically. I'm mm -hmm. not really into yeah. cars, but I was into that too because anything he said about it, his eyes lit up and it was interesting. From engines to building to placement to coloring to wrapping in 24 hours, mm -hmm. it's crazy. I like restoration videos where it's like someone really passionate about their craft and then it comes out really amazing. All those car lovers. There's a market for it. Yeah. There's a big market for it. And what do you think of his personality in general? Does that help you think or? Yeah, he seems like a cool guy. He seems sure. nice. I feel okay. like I'd subscribe to this guy just because the cars look cute at the end. I would. I would too. How many subscribers do you think this guy has? 2.6. I'm gonna go 2.8. 3.18. Oh, <sighs> the next is a comedy duo who do a bunch of TikTok Oh. Style videos. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's right. oh my god, I've seen a circle. So I love watching these. No. Yeah, dude, you messed up, bro. No, you did so well. <laughs> that was pretty good. That's good. That's good. How do you even get the chalk to do that? I thought that should have counted, man. That yeah. Is, uh, you know, it's incredible how this is entertaining because I don't know what the hell is going on. Whoa. This is really fun to watch, though. I love how they're like typing each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one's me. That would be me. I like the Yo, dotted, no. the dotted oh, technique. No. The dotted technique. Yo, please tell me someone makes a perfect circle. This is like an unfinished. These types of videos get me. Where everybody's like so excited. Oh my lord. That's pretty cool. Oh my That's lord. pretty good. Oh. That's pretty good. I would just keep rewatching the video. Like, I would just let it play again just because I like the noise it's making. If you rewatch it again and again, that still counts as one view. Oh my god. Oh. There's actually two guys specifically called Woody and Kleiny. Woody and Kleiny. Woody and Kleiny have made like every popular like TikTok short form, like challenge style fun content. A very simple huh. idea, but like. Yeah. Take into the next level. Yeah. Why do you think this is so popular internationally? It's short, straight to the point, mm -hmm. and entertaining. Bro, did you see what came up? We saw that, and within five seconds, our eyes lit up with joy, and like, it just came out of us, dude. Also, because there's no language barrier. So, how many subscribers do you think they have? 12. 12 million? Maybe six? 5.6. 5.6? 6. 10 million? 15.7. Jeez. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I believe it. The Darien Gap. 
considered Whoa. the world. <laughs> I like this guy's voice. Big Only fan. A hospitable piece of land that, due to the many dangers it contains, has been off limits to outsiders since forever. I like how he just but gives that is facts. Now slowly changing. Straight facts. With migrants needing a cheap this way is to when get the, uh, Yeah, you can just tune out to this. States, the Darien jungle mm. has become the world's most mm. least migrant route. Speak to me. Yes. Every day, thousands of desperate people from all over the world begin a journey in which they will risk disease, robbery by the I cartel, would watch this. injury, like I'd or click something on it. worse, to cross the deadly piece of land that separates I'm so, Colombia like, from Panama. This is my type of video, like the video, not like to, documentaries. This is what I, I mean. Where it's like join them on their perilous walk. That is not this guy. That is not <laughs> and avoiding the cartel to report first hand on the desperate wow. struggle the migrants face in their search for a better future. Oh my goodness. This is so amazing. This is so cool. We enter the Darien. This is People crazy. just be playing with their life. This is amazing though. This is... And it's dangerous. Like, yeah. cartels, like everything. Like, but like, how yeah. did... So he flew into the country where... Exactly. And he then flew he into Colombia. And he went, went to the jungle. Yeah, exactly. What do you think is the process of trying to make one of these videos happen? It seems like there's so much planning involved, but at mm -hmm. the same time, there's no way you can I spend too like, much time thinking about like it. I feel like he takes like a day or two thinking up the video, and then like the rest of that week, he's prepping for it, and yeah. like what does he need? Then he just goes. This guy's called Bald and Bagcraft. Um, he has 4 million subscribers. Ooh. And this is opening 17 TikTok mystery boxes. 17? Oh, it's ASMR. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have seen her before. Oh, my gosh. What oh. the heck? Okay. It's <gasps> ASMR. It's ASMR. I don't think I would like this ASMR because it's really, like, loud. It's a lot for my ears. An ASMR artist, like, does their thing. They, like, do something wrong, and you're like... Ah. But like, this is so beautiful. I don't know, I don't even know who that is in Harry Potter. Yeah, I I that's uh, Harry Potter, who cares? So this is uh, Rhea Official. Um, she makes personality and diverse and vi lifestyle content, fashion, beauty, a bit of travel videos, this mm -hmm. TikTok style videos. Why do you think this style of video is even Exist like why do people find it popular? People just like ASMR. What are your, what are your thoughts on that? I like it when they have long nails. What do you do that specifically? That video or her? Her, she's great. Opening TikTok mystery boxes with Harry Potter boxes inside the TikTok mystery boxes. Like that's so specific. This it's... channel started in 2020. Yeah, oh, so she's yeah. big, dude. Yeah. She has 13 million subscribers. Oh my wow. jeez, yeah. that is insane. We're moving on to another soccer player who just does a bunch of trick shots and he's a huge soccer player. His name's Chris MD. By the end of the video, we will have scored one amazing goal all the way from oh, here. Soccer. No. To here. Oh, no. Okay. I like how we'll at the beginning of the video. Oh, yeah. it's them again. Today, and that oh, is, not an invitation is that KSI? For it is KSI. That's part pitch. of the side men. So a lot of British YouTubers, they all go in each other's videos as like oh. collaborations because it's a small community. Yeah. Right. Like they all know each other really well. That makes well. sense. Yeah. Hey, it's Where that, guy, it's that one guy. Sorry, I've seen you guys already. He's back. <laughs> At the beginning of the video, they mentioned their end goal. And so that makes you want to stay as long until they get it. Yeah, I think America could do that more. Mm -hmm. And now I'm showing you the end of it where he, they've been doing it for like so long and it's raining and they've still not scored the last one. So oh scored. no. In the rain? Chris didn't have a great day. So yeah. They don't give up. Okay, I like that. I like I like the the raindrops on the camera. The audio that. effects are amazing. Mm -hmm. It's so dramatic. Yeah. With the music. So they're they're not gonna leave the field until they scored the last one. I have no clue what's going on, but I care about it. Here it is. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh! He did it! He did it! In the rain too. He did it! I don't know what he did, but he did it. His name's Chris MD. Uh, he became a British YouTuber because he used to do like lots of co uh, soccer content mm -hmm. and he used to do like match commentary, highlight video, walkthroughs, like gaming walkthroughs and football related challenges and trick shots and get celebs on there as well. He's got 6 million subscribers. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, I love this stuff. Very brutal. Yeah. Also, it's just, I, I love seeing talented people. Yep. Well, football is really popular in the <laughs> British, isn't it? <laughs> there are some sports like American football or baseball, like I get confused by. It's just like there's too many things going on but like soccer it's very like simple simple it's like there's two like nets and it's just 
one way or the other. <laughs> you just hate it when you decide to move abroad to turn a new page in your life. I love her outfit. Are you gay? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I can't go there. Yes. Or when you're visiting a country and suddenly everything's pretty hostile because you're gay. Oh, I <laughs> this is great. I kind of like the way she like edits her videos. It's regions. like she's so places in the world that regal and socially against LGBT. I mean, she looks really sweet. Sucks to be us. So what are the best countries to be queer in? Mm -hmm. well, the oh, so that intro education was really hooked. Denmark, Norway, and then it went Malta, into... and Canada have the best mixture of public perception and legal recognition. All of these scored highly regarding protections for gender or sexuality status in employment. Yo, housing, she's so funny, but she's so smart. Well public perception I really like this. And gender Informative. See, this is not my page funny. at all. Richard and like stuff like that. Remember so this is so like. Protections can change yeah. quickly, and regional differences apply. Yo, Yo. Plus rights and Put your seatbelt on. Deflate your airbags. Like, what is? Much lower protection level, in spite of quite impressive rules being put into place in 2022. So stay up to date before you travel. Wow. That is so cool. A social media influencer, but she does her content centered around disability. She has a disability. She has mm -hmm. Ellis Danlos syndrome, which is a connective tissue disorder, openly gay. Mm -hmm. And she is an advocate of the LGBTQ. I love that. She, that's what she posts stuff like that. It's informational, a little bit funny, a little bit humorous, but then just kind of trying to help people. And that's what she does. She has over a yeah. million subscribers. What are your thoughts? I found interest because I never would research a topic like that. Mm. Like, yeah. I would watch her for like, you know, wanting to get information instead of reading an article. If I saw that, like, I'm learning about like, potassium and engines and now where, where to be gay in, in the world. Yes, <laughs> like, that was great. So this is like listening to an article. Plus she has a really pretty outfit on. So <laughs> I say I'm happy. How many subscribers do you think she has? 3.5. 4.5. 1.15. This week, I returned to the roof to see if I still remembered how to thatch. But first, thatch? let's Thatching? back it up. He's gonna thatch a roof? 10 years ago, when I first shared with the world my unusual job that inspired I like the editing of his videos. Roof thatcher, I like that the slide down the ladder was quite I feel like, of the time, so I far, a lot of these the YouTube videos have the same vibe, and I love them, like for real. Like I said, opening mystery boxes was niche. This is niche. Thatcher and Wiltshire didn't quite come true because well, this guy should have a thousand million. <laughs> a thousand million? I, I, I wanted to I like this. Up I like this a lot. With a new social hundred million. Thatcher in town, Shane Stevens, to find out exactly that. Like, we don't get our roofs thatched. Right? For 25 what? years. No, what is thatching for? Well, yeah. Oh. It's like, it's like when you graduate, thatching so school. It's beautiful. <laughs> it looks so good. The thatching guy. Whoa. I don't even know what thatching is. But, like, this is interesting. What? His leg tattoos nice. are cool. There you go. <laughs> Thatching is a process of basically um, using this material that there were to create roofs of houses because it's mm. dead. But mm. it, it basically creates a thick layer to stop rain from coming in. So that's like another style of doing okay, cool. houses and extra insulation as well. Yeah. Um, cool. Very popular in the UK. That's why his name is Thatcher Joe. He basically was like on big reality TV shows in the UK, equivalent of like Dancing with the Stars and stuff like that. that he oh, liked. wow. Yeah, so he was very big. Because he was like one of the earliest popular British vlogger YouTubers. Got it. What do you think of this? I love this. Guy. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I think it was really interesting. Like I said, like just this is so many new topics to me, so I find them all really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We stayed in like hostels where all of the doors were like metal, so they like couldn't get fire through them. Yeah. That was so insane to me. So the question to you guys is if you wanted to create a YouTube channel out of a niche hobby like thatching, what would it be? Video gaming, sadly. That's that's the only Which thing. Which type I'm of video gonna... gaming? Dead by movies. Daylight, Fortnite. I'd probably be looking at movies and actors and talking mm. about what they're doing. How many subscribers do you think Joe has? 16.7. 10.8 million. He has 7.3. Welcome to the mouth. What's the purpose of your video? Oh, I've seen this guy. I love him. How long do you plan to stay in the Oh, he's the one who uh, does the stuff inside the body, the YouTube source. I know he's blood cell. big. Yeah, then why are you green? I'm being I love the outfit. I've what? seen I really I so it's your kill you. But I'm not. I'm great. afraid we're gonna have to kill you. No, I'm yeah. sorry. I'll just. I'll I go love the way he talks. Break. I promise I'll never come back. You just follow these white blood cells. They'll take. I like these very simple uh, mm -hmm. videos. He's Thanks just for so awkward and funny, Thanks. and I love him so much. Hi. Welcome to the mouth. What's the purpose of your? Uh, uh, <laughs> Look, mate, I'm just as confused as you are. <laughs> Amazing. He's what do you guys so, think of his whole? So funny, and I love the way he talks. What do you think of that, guys? That was it. He just does loads of videos like that. I love it. I love it. Love it. It was very simple, but it was straight to the point. 
very funny. It very enjoyable. Well, very, it's like, again, dry humor, kind of like dry humor. I, I, and I, I love dry humor. His videos always end on something like that. Crazy, don't just they? like, what in the world? Yeah. I love that. I've seen him before, I love him. It's something that's not quite relatable. But yeah. he's also one guy playing multiple parts, and I love that. I love when they do that. It's just green screen. It was very mm -hmm. popular. Another big, big video he made was Welcome to the Stomach. That has 290 million views on wow. YouTube. That's a lot. Yeah. How many subscribers do you think he has? 20. 20! I'm going to go 5.7. 3. 5.9. Frank! In 2007, I built a homemade wall of death and rode it on a motorbike. I think I've seen this guy. What was the first yeah. Oh, isn't that the death, um, death, wall, of death. wall of death? Wall of death. Scrap wood sound That's so cool. 16 years ago, he made this. That's so cool. He did not make this for YouTube. He made this for himself yep. and put it on YouTube. That's, that's, that's the best, when they just do it because they love it. That's crazy. That's He's scary like, is what it is. Yeah. Whoa. But after 10 years of standing out in a field, the elements had took its toll. Correct. The entry ramp had half collapsed. Yeah. And this climbing, is it wasn't the much same safer. Vibe? Ooh. Once on top, you could really see As how the much guy that broke into the, the security cupboard. Yeah. Even though it was full of nettles and weeds, I had one last job for oh it. Drift right. I have made lots of these amazing. Yo. Vehicles. I've made a petrol. This guy's so cool. Awesome. So he I've loves vehicles. Yep. He's in Fantastic. Rome. That's so sick. I've even made ones with spherical wheels. It's like a mix of him and the car guy. Yeah. yeah. Like I would like to just, like spend a day with him. On a wall yeah. I think he's very Despite like the sketchy fun. terrain. I gave it my best. He's never ridden one on a wall. Drift right, having no suspension. Oh my god. It was just too bad. Oh. Oh. That's like scary. He's brave. This man so does not care too about his safety. Old, dilapidated. I never did get to ride a drift Aww. trike on a wall of death. And now, nearly another 10 years later, I've still got my drift trikes. I just need a wall of death. Oh. Uh, that's kind wow. of a cool intro for like remaking one yeah. of his old videos. He did it! His name's Colin Furs, he's a British inventor engineer, and he basically started like 16 years ago making on YouTube. He made a jet-powered bicycle and the world's fastest stroller. Uh <laughs> world's fastest stroller. What did you guys think? You're doing the thing that you love and mixing it with things that people want to see. That's so cool. So we're looking at something he built, which he's testing out on another thing that he built. Yeah. And he doesn't even call That's attention so cool. to any of that. No, I just feel like he seems really fun. I would want to watch that how now he has the updated resource and resources and technology yeah. mm -hmm. to make it even better. How many subscribers do you think he has? I'm gonna say 10, eight. Seven million. Oh, I was in, the, I'm 3.8. 13 million. 13 million. This is the Apple store, and this is a fake Apple store that I opened 100 meters down. Not Apple. Just Did you so open a fake Apple? Three app? iPhones, this three one. iPads, and more. But why? Because Apple prices have gone up so much over the years, and the iPhones Ooh. aren't even changing anymore. Even their co-founder agrees with me, so oh someone gosh. needs to take a stand to stop this. So I'm taking one for the team, no, I'm taking on my old employer, Apple, and I'm going to force them to bring their prices down. How? By buying tons of Apple products and giving them away for free in my own store to give back to my people. Of London. But if I'm giving That's away crazy. Apple products for free, I'm not animation. So I have to make sure Yay. everyone knows I'm uh, not Apple. So I'm gonna call I know what parody lies. Not Apple. Smart, That's right? amazing. You know not I'm Apple sounds the great. This movement of all time in there. And I wonder yeah. if that like actually worked. Did they brought their prices. Down. They're, They're still getting the money. Most famous yeah. Apple store in the country. Oh my. This is so Look genius. It looks <laughs> Imagine having the then funding for this. Wow. How would people like trust that? They didn't. This no. is a way to give away money that's more entertaining than Mr. Yep. Mr. Beast. Mm. For me, I've seen a lot of Mr. Beast. And what do they all be for our lucky customers? They will walk into our incredible Not Apple store and see some of our top of the range Not iPhones on display <laughs> and our incredible branding where we throw shade at our competitor. And then we'll see <laughs> the will will get an opportunity of getting I just want to, I don't care if it's like free phones or anything. I just want to go wheel. here. It's the great Steve Jobless Steve Jobless. What's the man? I don't care about the free the free phones or anything. I just want to go there because that's hilarious. I love that you can be in a group but also be by yourself. So good. I think it's funny. Like it's a funny idea that he actually made a reality and then it made people happy in the end. I'm just like, I have an idea, let's do it. His name is Nico Omilana. Okay. And he's also part of something called him. the Beta Squad. He does basically pranks, satirical commentary, sketches, and he basically he ran 
for um, to be mayor of London, which is like a government position. Like seriously? Politically, yeah. And he came fifth. Fifth? Yeah. He has seven million subscribers. Mm. Well, which was your favorite one out of all these guys? Max mm. Frosh. I keep thinking about it. I think it's so. Ah! The chicken one. Chicken shop date. Chicken yeah. Shop? The chicken date, the hotel comparison. So the chicken date and Adrian Bliss were my favorites. Mm -hmm. oh, I liked the thatching video. Yeah. <laughs> so much. I just really enjoyed the guy and I wanted to learn how to do it. <laughs> I would probably say thatching as well. Oh, that was so weird. It was such a good video. And what do you think are some of the differences that you've seen in US YouTubers versus UK YouTubers? I'd say more animated. Like they're just, everything mm -hmm. feels so staged to me. The US mm -hmm. is very centered around like games. Gaming. The collabs. That's the different. collaboration, yeah. Production quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Follow me on Instagram or TikTok at Rendoy, just my name. And don't forget to watch that 90 show part two. It's on Netflix right now. Part three is coming out August 22nd. Thanks, Thanks for watching this episode. Which of these were your favorite? Let us know, please. Which British YouTubers did we leave out? Let us know. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. Uh. <laughs>